Hi everyone, today I'm just doing a vlog. I've already done my makeup look, I'm going to put the link up for you so if you're interested in this look you can have a look at that. Um, first of all I'm going to start the video off with a huge thank you and the thank you goes to all of you who helped share the video that I did for Refuge. Yes, it was one of the hardest videos that I've ever ever done, really, and I didn't think that it would get the same exposure that it did. I'm pretty much shocked, but that's all down to you because when I told you to share it and I, I don't usually ask for you to share me videos because I don't know maybe I should but I don't I never really say oh please share me videos um, but I'm glad I asked for your help on this one because he's got tons and tons and tons of attention around it I think the video is on about 760,000 maybe it's a bit more and I've, I've never had that many views on a video for a long, long time now. So thank you for getting all that help. And for the fact that it got tweeted and shared so much. Loads of news networks and magazines and papers and TV picked it up. Which is brilliant. I think we even had some celebrities do, um, tweet about it. Let's see. Stephen Fry. Loads of the magazine people. Um, a few other people. Just tons of people got on board so thank you very much that's the start I had to thank you because if without your help seriously it wouldn't have been the success it is so thank you um the 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 bruising in that video they weren't real okay so that was hard because I felt like I was lying to ears right it didn't feel very good but at the same time I know that it had to be done that way to be shocking enough to get the point across that there's people out there that are suffering and and it doesn't get talked about as much as it should and I don't know if that's to do with people being so scared um, feeling that if they do talk about it they should be ashamed and it's there's a whole load of reasons but I don't think it gets talked about enough so it really opened up a huge debate conversation on that video was tremendous in the start and then I think when you get loads and loads and loads and loads of views that are coming in from all different directions, people who've never watched me videos before, there, there were a few odd comments towards the end. But that's to be expected when a video goes viral. But the majority of views were fantastic. And um, yeah, so thank you very much. Wow, I didn't expect it to be so successful and I was worried that I might let the, the, the refuse charity down. But it looks like everyone's happy so... We did, we did a good thing, all of us, right? You and all. You was way involved. So thank you very much. Right, next up is, I've just, this is my little vlog because I don't talk much in my makeup videos anymore. So I've decided I'm going to do these as well alongside it. So if you want to hear about what I'm doing, you can just switch it on. And if not, well, you don't have to. So there you go. Because I have to keep my timings down. YouTube's changed so much. I'm not kidding you. Um, it's like, I don't know, I don't know, I think it's very, you, you can't find me just by typing in makeup tutorial anymore, I think you've actually got to be a subscriber, and even then the subscription button hardly works, it's according to everybody else who talks about it, so, and, and, and a lot of people have come to us and said, Lauren, when are you going to do a new video, and I had actually just done one, so they presumably didn't even know that, and they didn't hear from us for months, so, even if you're a subscriber, you're not even getting to hear about it. <clears throat> but I think that's because you have to hit a certain button. I.e. do you want an email confirmation when I upload or something. I don't know, but it's so it's so changed and it's not the same anymore. And, and I'm not the only guru on here, I'll say the same. Loads of people who put videos on YouTube who've been here for, well, two, three, four, five years. They'll all tell you the same. YouTube's changed for the content people anyway. And for the viewers as well, you're getting shorter to the point videos, which are really edited, really good. And so it has changed a lot. And so I have to make my videos a little bit shorter. So these are just extras. It doesn't matter if you don't want to watch, but if you do, great. You have to let us know. And I'll stay around on these ones and talk to you and all that kind of stuff as soon as I've uploaded the video. So there you go. Now, what else? Yes, I got some perfume sent in the post. And I wanted to talk about them just briefly. I get them sent for free, but I, I ask for them. I get offered them and usually, you know, you can either reply with yes or no, but I always say, go on then, send us it. And I can't promise I'll show it in my video because I just don't. If I don't like it, it's not going to go in my video, but I sniff these and I really like them. 
So this is Sex and the City Sunrise. It's a new perfume. And believe it or not, in, in New York when I was there, I can imagine wearing that in the morning. Very fresh, very fruity, very, very city chic type thing. I can totally imagine going and sitting and having a meal out in the street like they do there with that on and smelling good. Right, now this is, this, this is my favourite one though. Sex and the City Sunset. And it's gorgeous. I'm not kidding you. I wish I wish we could have smell vision Wouldn't you think someone would invent smell vision by now? For all these perfumes and stuff. But anyway, these are just Edo Toilet Natural Spray Vaporizers. But really, very nice considering they're not Edo Parfum. And my French isn't that good. So there you go. But anyway, really nice. It's very sweet, musky and quite down to earth smell. And I can totally imagine wearing this in the nightclubs, the pubs restaurant, bars, on an evening out with your friends and any big city wearing. I live quite suburban and I'm going to be wearing it so there you go. And I just put these on and, rem and, uh, and reminded myself of New York and London and all that kind of stuff. So they are very nice so I was very grateful that they got sent so that's lovely. Now I did have something else but I don't think I've got it near us. Probably don't. Oh yes I do. I got some bits and pieces from L'Oreal. I've got BB cream, which I'm going to try out. And this is a really quite nice. The Lumi, the True Match Lumi. I wore this in my tutorial. Tried it out. Very nice. And it's quite a good match. I got a real dark one, which I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I don't don't know what I'm going to do with that. But I could use it on a client, I suppose. And um, a very, very light one. So I've got, I'm using the middle one. This one here is warm. It's the Broad Spectrum SPF 20. I do likes it. So anyway, on to just what I've been doing. The dogs. Everyone keeps saying, talk about your dogs. So, hey, I'm going to. Yes. They're all really quite cute. They're all grown up lovely. We've got three sets of puppies. Two, three of them are six weeks now. Two are three weeks. And another two are coming up to two weeks. And they've just opened their eyes. So I check them every day, see if they're alright. And um, they're all in different rooms so they can have complete peace. But my house is like eaten up by dogs at the moment. And it's been really weird because there's been lots of interviews going on in the past couple of weeks. And I haven't been able to bring anyone here. And that's a bit embarrassing. Because the sitting room, I, I managed to get all my dogs out of there. I got it cleaned up lovely. Um, and then I had to move them down into there. So there was this huge big pen in the middle of the sitting room. And it, you had to watch the TV through the cage top. top. It's a big galvanised steel pen. And I, I just thought, oh, can't wait to get my sitting room back again. So I finally got it back. But now we've got a little welcome box. But at least that's not so big. Because they're not running around yet. They're just like, just starting to crawl and bite each other's ears and stuff. So they're not moving around much yet. But the mum is, she's been on my couch. The neighbours come over the other day to say hello and come and have a look at the puppies. So I invited them in thinking, well, my sitting room's clean, that's fine. In I went, and guess what Chi Chi had done on my couch? She'd had a poop. And I'm, I'm not impressed. And I thought, well, you know, she knows not to do it, so maybe it was just like I should jump up and kind of fell off. No. There's another one today and another one later on. So there's three now, and the told her off because there's a pattern starting, you know. She's got a toilet pad. But oh no, she wanted to poop on my couch because she couldn't be bothered to get up and move. So I wasn't impressed about that. Luckily it's leather and it was easily wiped off with some antibacterial spray. But that's not the point. I know it's been there. So I wasn't impressed about that. But anyway, the others are quite cute. We took them for a walk the other day. That was madness because you only allow four dogs per walk. I think that's the law. You're not allowed to be out with more than four dogs. But even though those two were, we just took four each time and came back and come back and all that. And the council haven't bothered cutting any of the grass or anything around here. And you would, it's actually quite disgusting because my council tax is through the roof and really bad. We've started to get our bins emptied every other week, but we're recycling bin will get emptied each week. But that doesn't help me because I've got lots of dogs, lots of mess. And there's a lot of stuff comes out this house into the bins. And once every fortnight is just terrible, I think. But never mind, at least it gets emptied. And then 
They don't even bother cutting the grass around here. Opposite my house, we've got a house to that side, and opposite my house, it's all greenery. And I love it. It's wild, there's trees, there's rabbits and everything. But, they've just only come and cut it, and it was getting really long. And I don't really mind over there going wild, because not many people go for a walk over there. But, behind my house, because we live on a cut, You've got this huge cut going right to the back of the house, it's like a foresty type of stuff. And you can't even see your head here. Honestly, I had to carry half of the dogs because they just, they were like screaming, they were frightened. And you need some sort of hack to like get through it all. It's all up to your waist and your, up to your head and, and honestly, you can't see. And there was another guy with this big dog on the field and he was joking saying, not be long, will I be able to see my dogs anymore because of the, the grass. So the council haven't bothered cleaning it up or doing anything with it. So I'm thinking about doing it myself. But um, anyway, that's the dog stuff done. There you go. What was I going to tell you? Oh, I did something. I did my nails. Marble effect. Everyone's doing marble effect nails. Everyone's doing anything but just nail varnish lately. That's what I pick up from the net at the moment. So I thought I'd give it a go. Water in a bowl. Pour your varnishes in, da 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 da, or polish, whatever sounds popular. Polish probably, or nail colour, nail cream, I don't know. But we'll go with polish. So pour your polish in the bowl, plop, 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 and it keeps spreading. You put some more in the spreads, put some more in the spreads, and you add as many colours as you want. Then you get your fingers and you just dip them in. But, gotta make sure you tape them up, otherwise, you're gonna be painting the whole of your finger in your hand, and that's pretty minging, and it just takes forever to come off. So I taped my hands up and then realised it was very hard to tape the other ones up. And then I realised it was very hard to put the stuff in so it's a long winded palaver for a nail. But when I go out people notice them. And usually people are still wearing like normal colour nail varnish. So I stand out with my marbled effect. So I did do the marbled effect and I might probably do the marble, marble effect again. So if you would like a tutorial on that I'll show you. I'm not a pro myself at the moment though because I have only tried a couple of times even though I was up all night trying to master it but I'll just show you that's what I've got to see look they've chipped I need to do them again but that's me marble effect so far I done like a, a grey background and then I added grey and pink and grey and pink and grey and pink the white that I used is dead. I need to buy a new white because white would look lovely in this marble effect stuff, I think. But anyway, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do my nails again because these are horrible. And you're supposed to do one at a time to get a unique effect. But I was like, oh, sort that. Stick four fingers in. But then you need a bigger bowl. So you're going to need a big bowl, to be honest, if you want to get your whole hand in. But um, yeah. Oh, and then once you've got your hand in, you've got to get your other hand and pull away all the excess stuff with like a cotton bud, which is not easy when you've got a little pot in your hands all like this and they're all taped up like Herman Monster. So it's just a bit of a mess really. And I put a nappy pad down, a clean one of course, on the table and it worked perfect. So I shall be using another nappy pad whilst I play with me nail varnishes. So there you go. I don't know if there's anything else, I'm trying to think. It should come back to us. It's not going to, though, is it? Oh, you know, through the week I sit there and think, oh, I'll tell them that, I'll tell them that. It's just not coming. It's not coming. No, I'm sorry, it's gone. Well, I'm going to have to keep it for next time. You know, I'm, my brain is like a sieve, honestly. I don't know if it's the amount of coffee that I have. The coffee that I have. It might deplete the brain cells, I don't know. Some stupid fool on here keeps coming on and saying I've got mad cow disease. But I'm telling you now, I don't moo in the night, so I have not got that. And I think when you have CJD, you can actually die with it. So I don't find the joke very funny. But anyway, it's some guy called Burger, Burger, Shot, Burger, Shack, Burger. It's just burger shit, I don't know. But he's a bit rude, rotten, horrible, no life, clearly hasn't got a life. And clearly wants to just bore the crap out of people and bug people and all that stuff. So there you go, Mr. Burger Shot. And he's got a hundred accounts, so he must have really no life at all. But anyway, so yes, my brain's like a safe. I need to get a notepad and I need to write everything down that I want to talk to you about. 
because honestly it just goes out of my head and I don't know where it goes because it's not in there unless I scratch really hard but it's just not coming back anyway I'm going to have to leave it because otherwise I'll be sat here and you'll be waiting thinking well come on then come on tell us what you want to say and I really don't know where it's gone so I will write some notes so next time I'm better prepared because I just come on here and I think right yeah I want to say hello you who and all this and I should plan and I should prepare because if you fail to plan, plan to fail. That's what I keep telling myself. But anyway, I'm 30 and I've never done it yet, so I don't think there's much hope. Anyway, anyway tell us how you are doing. Leave us a comment, because I shall be looking for them. And I really hope you enjoyed the makeup look that I post with this video. So, you know, you don't have to watch this if you don't want to, but if you want to watch the makeup video, that's great. And I shall see you all in a bit. Zoom, zoom.